Hey guys, so this is part two um, for my Calendly booking system and I've pretty much got it done uh, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So essentially we're gonna be using the same system that I showed in part one, um, but we just added in the uh, Google Workspace calendar functionality. Um, and I'm using two API, two API calls uh, to Google for this. We're using the free busy, which is actually checking if there's an appointment um, for that date, uh, for that date and time uh, window. And you, this is basically gonna ensure that we're not double booking. Um, and the other call that we're using is the insert event call. Um, and that will actually allow us to create the event. And that way, uh, I don't have to do I, I don't have to use SendGrid or anything. I'm just gonna let Google manage the email notifications and whatnot. Um, so that's a relief. Uh, essentially, what this uh, what we need to do uh, from where we left off it, are a couple of things. Um, first is gonna be getting the Google service account set up. Um, I have this one set up. Uh, you're basically going to want to use uh, Michael from Xano's. Uh, uh, you're going to want to use Michael's snippet. Um, and he basically has it set up so it creates all this. The only thing you're going to need to do is plug in your API key, uh, which he shows you how to do, and then add your scopes. And your scopes are going to be, so this is the free busy query uh, in the documentation and it requires these two scopes right here. And just a note, uh, a quick tip about the scopes. You definitely wanna uh, copy this into like Notepad or something and ensure that there's only a space in between them because there's uh, an issue, like I had an issue where it wasn't working and I double checked literally everything and then I, randomly was like, oh, let me check the scopes one more time. And then I looked fine in Xano and I copied it and pasted it into a notepad. And there was some kind of weird like spacing error. So I fixed it in notepad and then I copied it and pasted it back in to Xano and to my scopes and boom, it worked. Okay, so the other thing that I will mention that is not in his snippet is going to be this extra path called sub. And what this is, is it's uh, determining who the user is that has the access to the workspace, like who it's gonna be impersonating, uh, essentially. And you're gonna have to do one other thing that he doesn't show is, uh, and this is only for Google Workspace, uh, and you're gonna wanna uh, D delegate domain wide authority and I'll link the documentation on that. It's pretty simple. Um, okay, so you basically set all this up. It's pretty straightforward. And then now on to the API calls. So uh, this is the free busy one, which is in the stack right here. And here, this call is for my coach availability. And so we're checking uh, a user's availability. Um, basically, if we go into this call, we're creating two variables, the start and the end, and we need to f use this, the format C. Okay, this is really important because that's how Google wants it. Um, so you're basically going to do it like that, and I'll show you uh, real quick where it is. Uh, if, if we go to this right here what you're going to want to do is kind of create like this is how these are the very the requests that i'm using okay so here it is the min the time min and time max and formatting using that c formatting uh is going to give it to us like so which is what it wants and then the items are going to be the user's calendars that we're trying to go check for free busy um and so this is either going to be for a calendar ID, which is a link, like when you go to your calendar settings in Google. Um, and for 
uh, like for our workspace, it's basically going to be uh, the user's ID or the the user's email, sorry, um, that owns that calendar. And that's the way it's working for me. So you can test all this and then you're going to basically just import the curl right here um, and then set it up like so. So I imported the curl and then added all this and I'm putting in the email and then replacing this string, your access token. I'm replacing it with the actual access token that is coming from the uh, this function right here. So um, yeah, that's why I have it set up right before it. So I'm basically the inputs that I'm using are like the same uh i'm using the full start date and full end date and then adding the out like an extra hour and uh then i'm taking in the google access token and then i'm also putting in the like calendar id which is going to be the email for me um okay so now that we have that set up essentially what we're doing is it's gonna go and check uh we're doing the same thing we were doing and then it's going to when we're doing the looping and figuring out uh like if a slot is actually available or not because earlier we were creating the available slots for that day uh, based off of our window and then when we're actually looping through and checking I just added basically this um, to essentially figure out uh, like to include whatever results we got from our API call from Google um, and yeah and that's essentially how it works and the other part of it is going to be uh, let me go to my APIs right here. It's gonna be here. And okay, here it is. So when we do the booking, um, essentially we're doing the same thing. We're grabbing the access token and then we're doing an insert Google uh, calendar event. Um, and this is essentially how we set it up. Um, I'm using like, you know, the coachy and the coach and uh, the, the same timestamps. And yeah, it's uh, pretty straightforward. And you can test all this in the documentation. It's really awesome. Um, you can just test it all here and then uh, import your curl. Uh, make sure also that you just uncheck this API key because we're not using the API key. We're using OAuth too. Um, and then execute and copy the curl when you get your 200 call um, and import it into Xano. And yeah, that's essentially how it all works. I'm using just like uh, the timestamp start input and my coach ID. Um, and yeah, so I'm creating the coach booking like I was doing before. And then I'm just also creating the event. Uh, on the Google Calendar afterwards. So I kind of have both of them. Um, and th the reason I'm doing this is because the, like, uh, the other call, that I, the availability call, it's going to check for both places. It's going to check if we have a booking in our system, and then it's going to check if the coach has a booking on their calendar uh, or some other event, right? Um, yeah. And th that's essentially how I have it all working. And it's working great. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.